get that merch. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I got a question, man. It's about food. Anybody ever thought why you eat your cereal with bull milk? Anybody ever thought why you drink bull milk? Um, anybody ever wonder why you a human? But for some odd reason, the milk that you consume is from an animal. Now, I'm sure if you ever had this question, especially in school, somebody probably pulled you to the side, you know, told you a couple words that satisfied you for the moment. You probably never questioned it again. See, it didn't work like that for me. I just, I had to look it up. Um, it just seemed weird to me. Again, I, I'm just me. And, um... When you get to a certain point with certain things, like I said, you just like, this This is crazy. This is crazy. Like, you know, I need somebody to tell me, you know, reassure me that, you know, it ain't just me. And um, nobody could do that. It's people like, you only know what you know. Um, you know what you're taught. I mean, you know, people learn from the examples. So they, they learn with their eyes as well. So if nobody ever questioned it, maybe you never questioned it as well. And me, I, I questioned it. I just never got a clear answer until I started doing my own research. And I found out that um, a bull, you know, definitely is an animal. And um, the female version of the, the uh, bull is a heifer. You know, when they're young, they're called a heifer. Which some of y'all females call each other heifers out there. So I don't know if y'all call each other a bull or you just... Weird, you know, curse words concerning females is with animals. Crazy. But um, you know, back to the um the heifer situation. Um, once a heifer has babies, or you know, what they would be considered, you know, they call them cow, but once again, it's not even a cow. Might even had a wrong term, man. Look at me trying to act like I know everything I'm talking about. Anyway, um, when they have offspring, let's let's go with that. When they have offspring. Um, they nurture their offspring with their milk. And um, the reason why a lot of humans consume it on a regular basis, and I guess they have to go through a process, call it homologized, whatever, go through a process to um, filter it because not even supposed to be drinking it in the first place. Nobody ever thinks of that, though. But like I said, when you do think about it, who going to tell you, who going um, to talk you out of thinking there's anything wrong with it? They get somebody with a PhD or an MD, you know, DR, you know, that stuff crazy, man. It's just somebody else with that title. They swoop in, they give you a whole bunch of eloquent sounding words. They put it together and then you tricked. They just did a magic trick on you or whatever, you know. Now you just believe whatever they say. They get these experts in there. And um, like I say, I just didn't, it didn't sit right with me. Never, ever. And for that reason, it's uh, obvious things to this day. They would take a female bull that's a heifer at one stage, and now it's a cow. They call it a whole nother species of animal. As far as I'm concerned, when you see the animal, you see the cow, you see a bull, you don't, you know, let somebody tell you, you don't really make that comparison, I wouldn't believe. You definitely wouldn't question it drinking their milk. Stop drinking their milk, man. They got goat milk now, you know, almond milk. I mean, a lot of these they been had, but I'm just saying, um, probably some cashew milk, you know. You can get milk, whatever, but the fact that you drinking half of milk, give them milk back, you know. Help the population. Save the chickens, you know. Chick-fil-A. That's another thing, man. Every fast food place, even Taco Bell got chicken sandwiches, man. I'm saying, who's killing all these chickens? Who's even making all these chickens? They can't even make them fast enough. I don't know if they 3D printing them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what they doing, man. But I ain't. I don't know where no chicken house at near me. So, um, Purdue, let me know, man. I don't know what they doing, man. China was about to shut down the port in Smithfield. 
all of a sudden the um, virus hit and then all of a sudden they um, stepped up the production you know forcing people to come in contaminate uh, I, you know I don't want to spread no rumors so um, you know I just want to I'm going to stop it there I'm going to stop at that point right there um, in the future we definitely going to look into this more you know I want to have my little evidence here so when I'm reading some of this information that if I can find it I can definitely um, connect some of these dots for you and um, cross some of these T's because a lot of times I had these feelings where I feel like I know, um, you know, I pray for wisdom from God. Then I feel like, you know, he answers that prayer by providing this information through various means, whether it come from some of y'all out there might talk to some random video I might see, some random book I might read, some random article that was published. I mean, information is out there. It's definitely in front of us all the time. They hide it in plain sight. And a lot of us, they, a lot of things, they got to show it to us first and get us to kind of sign on to it before they do it, such as their movies. You know, a lot of y'all favorite sitcoms and favorite shows y'all watch. Yeah. Watch it a little closely, a little closer. Look at the symbolism in there. Look at the hand signs, the gestures they use. Trust me, they show it to us before they do it. But they show it to y'all, because I ain't watching that. Nah, not at all. God can help me. And if uh, God say the same, I'll be back in the next video.